Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year! 2015, I can't believe it. Can you actually believe right now, as you're listening to me, it's the youngest you have been and the oldest you have ever been. And that's 10 seconds of your life you will never get back. Thinking about stuff that's inevitable, but the next six minutes of your life will be well spent, I promise. Watching how to achieve this bronze goddess look. I'm starting with a primed face and prepping my eyelids with MAC Paint Pop in Soft Ochre. Next, I'm just getting excited over this Tarte High Performance Neutrals pack because it's so freaking beautiful. And I'm just going straight into the crease with this cool toned brown, really buffing it in there with a fluffy brush. I'm taking the bone colour out of that same palette and just placing it on the brow bone to help brighten up that area. From that same palette again, I'm taking a dark grey brown and deepening up the crease. I'm focusing on making a rounded shape with the eye and bringing the colour right into the inner and outer corners. I'm going in to a different palette for the lid colour and just filling in the blank space with what I would call a shimmery antique gold. Then to make the eyes pop, I'm placing a champagne gold right in the middle. You can instantly see how that just lifted the eye to another dimension. I want to bring a bit of warmth back into the eye, so I'm just placing a pinky taupe color above the cool brown we added earlier. This adds more dimension to the eye. We've got so many dimensions going on, we've gone into Stella. I primed my face with Hourglass Mineral Veil, then using my Studio Fix Powder as my foundation because I love how flawless it looks. Applying it with a flat top Kabuki will really give you great coverage if that's what you're after, as the brush is super dense. And I'm just getting rid of the powder on my lips. To highlight the face and conceal the under eye darkness, I'm using my favourite concealer powder from Bare Minerals. It applies very smoothly, doesn't look cakey and doesn't crease under the eye. To apply the concealer down the nose, I switch brushes to a smaller dense fluff brush, then blend it out with a tapered brush that we were using earlier. When working with powders just like the eyes, I like to have a transition shade for my contour. If we just go straight in with a dark colour, it may be hard to blend out. So starting with this bronzer, which is a warm tone. Then to get right in my hollows, I add a cool tone brown and it's slightly grey and blending that upwards. This will create an ombre effect and I think you know what I'm going to say next, dimension. With the brows, I'm just doing the same as usual. I find it really hard to cut out the brow clips because it's a part of the whole makeup application. I get a lot of compliments on my brow game, but honestly, my method I use to create them is so simple. Sharing is caring, you know. Maybe I'll just keep including the brow clip, and until you guys say, okay, we get how you apply your brows. I'm just applying the first cool tone brown we used and just smoking out the lower lash line. I use a brown liner to line my waterline as I want to keep it looking soft. Sorry about this angle, you can see right up my nose, but anyway, this is the way I find easiest to apply mascara to my top lashes. I'm going for a naturalish lash from Velour called Wing Woman. 
I love these lashes. I'm making sure I get them as close as possible to the lash line as we aren't applying any liner. For blush, I'm sticking to the bronze theme and using a bronzer with a sheen. Then I'm highlighting with my all-time favourite Galactic Face Glow in Natural. And just hitting the top of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose and the sides of my nose. For more dimension, because we haven't had enough dimension in this tutorial yet, I decided to add a highlight to the inner corners of the eyes to tie in the highlight going on on the far tray. You will notice I'm lining my lips with a slightly darker lip liner than the lipstick I'm using. They are the same colour but when you have a darker lip line than your actual lip, it creates, I'm not even going to say it, I'm just going to type in thesaurus.com and find another word for dimension because I really need to expand my vocabulary. Next tutorial, I'm going to try not say that word once. And that's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this look. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please don't forget to subscribe because this channel is on another dimension. And I'll see you next time.